right, my liquid latex has dried and I am ready to do my alcohol inks. Just wanted to wipe off that chalk. So we are working with a dark surface, which means regular alcohol inks. Let's show you here. You're not actually gonna see them. If I put them onto the surface, you're really not gonna see a whole lot of color. And that's not what the look that we're going for. We wanna be able to see what we're doing on our surface. So the way to do that is by using mixatives. So I've got pearl here and I've also got snow cap. I'm gonna use a little bit of sterling alloy, but I do want a little bit of the blue color because you may have seen this class that um, I did. I plan on hanging these close together and I want them to tie into each other. So I do wanna use a few of the colors from here, but we will be using it with some of the mixatives. So the first thing I'm gonna do, you hear that little ball? You wanna be able to hear that because if you can't hear that little ball, that means your pigments are stuck at the bottom or the side of your um, bottle and you're not actually getting the correct mixture on your piece. So I'm just adding a little bit of snow cap to it and then I am putting the alcohol ink and then some blending solution and I am blending it out. Now I'm mainly focusing here right now. I'm gonna do some strings and whatnot, but I'm not gonna be blowing it out completely because I don't have much control when I do that. So I'm just trying to get my first layer in here first. And then the other thing that I can use is alcohol pearls. So these are alcohol inks with a colored mica in them. Here, we'll do a little trail down here. And they've got a really pearly, shimmery look to them, which I just love. Let's add a little bit of the pearl mixative to the top here. So I don't want this jellyfish to be overall. I'm gonna add some blending solution. I don't want this to be like overall blue. Um, I just want a touch of it. So I'm putting it in this first layer and then for the next layers, I'm probably gonna tone down the blue and work more in the whites, the pearls and my alloy color. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna put some of these guys, the pearl mix it up going down. And you can do it as much or as little as you want. I am going to blow a little bit because I do want it's kind of, you know how jellyfish sometimes have those little ruffly, let my picture go here, like this here. I do want a little bit of that, but I do want to have a bit of control over it. So by putting my color down and then blowing it, I do have that control. Now I'm just going to put some alcohol ink over that one. And what I meant to grab was the pearl one, but that's okay. So by putting it in the line there and then blowing it out a little bit, I just have a little bit more control than say putting a whole blob here and going all the way down. And I'm gonna be layering these as I, um, with the different layers. So what we're gonna do is we're doing the one, the alcohol ink layers, and then we're doing little thin layers of resin in between. Let's do another pearl one. Let's go right there. And what those re the resin layers in between the alcohol ink layers are gonna do is they're just really gonna give dimension. And especially with the little tentacles from the jellyfish, you're really gonna see that they're layered. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. Put my caps on my bottles here. When this is completely dry, we can pull up the tape and pull up our masking fluid. We're gonna have to re 
move the masking fluid or the liquid latex between each and every layer. And then reapply it for the next layer in order to have that control. Gonna let this dry and I will be back and I'll show you how to clean up these edges. All right, so to help remove any of these bits that have seeped through, I'm just using my black acrylic paint that I use for my base coat and I'm just painting over it. You have a little bit more control this way. I tried to do it with some isopropyl alcohol, but I found that I was actually removing my base coat layer going down to the primer so we don't want to do that for sure there we go so I don't need perfection I just need it um, to be a little bit cleaner than it was and you may have that you may have um, you may find that your alcohol ink tends to seep through and it just does it seeps under tape and what not, but learning how to fix it helps that not be as big of an issue as it might otherwise have been. So any of that liquid latex, make sure it's peeled off. What we're gonna do now is once everything is dried and where I fixed it is dried, I am gonna apply a couple thin coats of Kamar varnish and let it dry in between those thin coats. Kamar is the only one that I found that helps to seal in alcohol inks without rehydrating them and like making them flow so that's my choice for that and then after that I do a couple thin coats of a clear UV resist spray to help so that the inks don't fade and stuff like that um, and I do this in between each and every layer after I have applied my alcohol inks I find sometimes if you don't apply this and then put resin over top sometimes the resin can react with your alcohol inks and um, rehydrate them and make them flow where you don't want them to so in order to ensure that doesn't happen I use my Kamar a couple layers and then a couple layers of the UV resist so once this is completely dry and I have sprayed that you need to let it sit for 24 hours so that any um, gases it can off gas from your sprays if you don't do that and then you put your resin layer before the 24 hours you can get fish eyes and what that is is little dimples in the surface of your resin and the only way to fix that if you happen to get fish eyes is doing another thin little coat of resin so best to prevent it without or pre be prevented ahead of time then um, need to fix it every single time so we'll see you tomorrow once everything has sat and um, been sprayed and we will pour our first layer of resin